Hey guys, my name's Dora, and today I'm going to show you how to make this stalk of stock flowers. So first thing you want to do is paint little buds at the very top, and as you go down, just make them bigger and fuller. So I actually painted like three of these before painting this one. The ones before were done in spring colors and I, I didn't hate the way the flowers turned out. I just felt like something was off and I definitely knew that they could be better. It wasn't until I looked at all of them side by side until I realized what that was. Contrast. So the others are in spring colors and although very pretty, the colors are not contrasting whereas the monochrome flowers are highly contrasting. I love the way the flowers are so light and the foliage is so very dark. It makes for a very bold, striking, and interesting look. Look, and there's nothing wrong with spring colors. They're still my favorite to paint with. However, if you're ever caught like not loving your floral paintings and you can't figure out why, try painting them in monochrome. For the flowers, you should imagine a central stalk going straight up and down the page, or you can even paint one. Um, if you do, paint the stalk in a very light, almost see-through color. From there, add flowers wherever you want. Just make sure that they coordinate with the central stalk. Start the flowers off by painting a small round petal in the middle. Paint small wisps coming out of the petals for a more whimsical look. And I also recommend painting the flowers very full and the petals very round. Leave white space, especially in the center at the base of each petal, but it's okay if the petals touch in the middle of the flower. Darken the base of the petals, but not the central round petal itself. Paint a stalk in the middle wherever there is empty white space, but make sure you do this after you're finished painting all central flowers. So now that I painted flowers along the central stalk where I wanted, 
I'm gonna go back in and add a few more flowers, mainly just to fill empty space and make this stalk of flowers look more lush and full. And I'm gonna start with the most iconic stock flower. Well, to me anyway, which is the side angle flower at the top by the buds that's just bloomed and is so heavy that the stem is a C curve from all the weight. I just realized this is not actually monochrome um, because it has purple and blues, um, different shades and different tones of purple and blue. So I guess you would call it like a, a dual or duo toned, I'm not sure. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if this video helped or inspired you, you should subscribe. Don't miss out on creative watercolor videos, ideas, and inspiration.